We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros. Stepping in, number 60, and we are set for baseball here this evening. For Texas, the center fielder, number 60. Now here's the pitch. Too high that time with the innings pitch. first pitch. Seven hits ball ten. one. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. Two it's 2-0 oh now. And our game time temperature this evening, a nice 74 degrees. 3-0 and oh now. Three and one. Finally got one over. Nothing worse than starting the game with a four pitch walk. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. Throw on to first. In time, one away. Striding in, Alec Bohm. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Alec Bohm. Now here it comes. Ball, that down. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. One ball and two strikes to count. The one and two pitch. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. That is third. The designated hitter, Dominic. Into yeah. the box, Dominic Smith. Ball and he'll take a look at ball one. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. No That's offer on that two. one, two balls and a strike. Three and one now as that misses down and in. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3 1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? To second for one, onto the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook 3 6 1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. Now batting, Kyle Tucker. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. In now is Adam Eaton. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's seen him well. Six for 11. He's taken him deep once. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Sent on the ground out to second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. At the plate, Alex the Bregman. And he's carrying a batting Alex. average of just over 300, so clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two out, nobody on. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off. One and two. 
Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitcher's pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Kluber gets the sign. 1-2 on its way. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Batting four. The first baseman. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. He chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Cody. And now Bellinger. pitch on the way. 1 0. -oh. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. Standing in Albert Perez. He did not play last night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. And a swing and a miss at a pitch well off the plate. It's strike one. And there's ball one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Jansen finds it, and he makes the throw to first. Perez is retired, two down now. Here's Brian Dozier now. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. Fastball just inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and a strike to Dozier. Two balls, one strike, the count. And it's fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Here's Carlos Correa now. He went deep in the contest last night. First pitch of the at-bat. Eight. Oh, and one. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And the inning oh. begins with a quick out number one. Now at the that plate, Josh Naylor. The designated hitter. Josh Naylor. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Fouled off. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. One That's ball, strike two. two strike. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck. You're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Three and two, full count. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. A payoff pitch one more time. Is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Striding in for Houston, Danny Jansen. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. 
lofted in the air out toward right center. Bellinger's under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. At the plate, Ronald Guzman. 7 8 9, bottom of the order the set to go here in the third. Ronald Guzman. First pitch on its way. Not his best effort that time. Oh, one, it's strike count. one. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Guzman is a highly regarded defender, especially as corner infielders go. Some guys at first or third are there because they can hit, but he takes a lot of pride in his defense, and as a result, it's definitely not uncommon for him to make an impact on the game with his glove. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Ronald Guzman is retired to start the third. And the first pitch here is below the knees, but he gets him to chase it, and it's 0-1. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. He was finally able to lay off one there. He swung it two out of the zone before that. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Eaton going back. Still going back. Gone! When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Standing in now, Bo Naylor. The catcher. Bo. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Ball one, one is that one didn't really threaten the inside corner. And there's no. ball two it's now. Not. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. Fielded cleanly on the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. But hold on here now. They quickly requested some time to take a look at the replay, and they may decide to challenge that out call. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout, but here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call. Now an indication from the dugout is that they will not challenge the call on the field, so the runner is indeed out. Striding in once again, number 60. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And this is cut on and missed the below the knees, and it's 0-1. You get a swing like that, you know the hitter made up ball. his mind he was swinging no matter what on that one pitch. Ball, one, one ball, one strike the count. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now a flare out toward right center. Perez onto the grass, but he won't get there. It falls in. The tag, and no, they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. To the plate now, Oscar Mercado. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Number 60 is there. One pitch, one out. So stepping in, Hernan Perez. He drove in two of his club's three runs in last night's affair. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. The wind up and the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit.
the left fielder, number 30, Kyle Tucker. In now, Kyle Tucker. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He went down swinging to start the home first. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Ready for another chance? Adam Eaton. Yes, he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch coming. Here it is. In there, 0 and 1. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in the tough spot. Perez over at second. Tucker is over at first with one away. A ball and two strikes now. Hard sinker misses two and two. Lifted down the line in left. Puig on the run. And they can't run it down. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Scooped up. There's one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Third baseman number two. So striding in, Alex Bregman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. No balls in one strike. Ready with the 0-1. At the ball. One and one. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two trying to do way too much up there from what I can tell. He knows that's a big run standing there at third, but that swing was... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. New inning set to get underway and set to go is the third baseman, Alec Bone. Alec. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Looking at his career totals, Bohm has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the, the first out. One gone in the Texas sport. Dominic. And that'll bring up Smith. the left-handed bat of Dominic Smith. Down the first baseline. Nope, and this will be a foul ball as the first baseman makes a Herculean effort to make the stop. Easy there, Cha Cha. Fastball's fouled off to the left, and he falls behind now 0 and 2. Fouled away. One run on three hits and one error in the ballgame for the Rangers. Right side and right into the shift. He's got it. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Now back the right field, Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. That's a ball. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. 1-1. Oh, I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Eaton is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Oh, Albert for Perez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Albert Perez. From the belt, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. 
And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Digging in, Rowdy Tellez. He'll start Waiting things out here Rowdy against Astros. Corey Kluber. The first baseman, number 46. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey! Hey, he's rolling so far in this one as we head in to middle part of this game. How about 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes? If he continues to do that, he just might finish this one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he fouls this one off. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. Another try at 2 2. And it's fouled away. Now another 2 2. Chopper to short. And an off balance oh. throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Sliding into the box, Carlos Correa. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Throw on to first, two gone. Next will be the designated hitter, Josh Naylor. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Number nine. Up next is Danny Jansen. He's a look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Kluber pauses. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Brian Dozier. First delivery to him on the way. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting out. Into the corner and slicing foul. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Jansen corrals it and he makes the throw to first. Dozier is retired and there's one away. Now batting. Stepping up now, Ronald Guzman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. Big swing at the knuckle curve. Gets nothing but air. 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch fouled off. Another 0 and 2 coming. One ball. Two One strength. out, nobody on. Changes up on and him, but that's in the dirt two. for a ball. 
Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. Two two. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And up next, the right-handed bat of Yasiel Puig. Hey, in the last at-bat when he hit that home run on an off-speed pitch, he didn't really crush it, but he certainly hit it well enough to drive it out of the ballpark. Here's the 0-1 pitch. One run, four hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rangers. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Another one sent foul. The next 0-2. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one two. Misses ball two. Two strikes. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher. And batter right here is what makes the game great. Hit back up the middle. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Oscar Mercado. First pitch on its way. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Settling in now, Hernan Perez. One for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Here's a late swing and a miss, okay, strike two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Into center field, line drive base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. The left fielder, number 30, Kyle Tucker. Into the box now, Kyle Tucker. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. Dozier. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth. And the next to bat is speedy Adam Eaton. From the stretch. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Hit in the air to right field. Giving chase is Bellinger. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. All set for the start of the inning. And that'll bring in the first year catcher, Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor. And now pitch on the way. And he begins the at bat with a knuckle curve looked at for strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. And now pitch on the way. Back up the middle. And that is Byam on into center field, so good hitting on 0 2 nets him a leadoff single. Now batting, number 60. Stepping in now, number 60, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. behind 0 and 2 now
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And that's in there. Base hit. He'll get it into second. Oh, and he takes his eye off it here, and it goes right past him. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And that'll Alec. give way to the third baseman, oh. Alec Bohm. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no and now a curveball as he's got a lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Josh James picks the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Dominic Smith will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. He's set and the pitch. Owen oh, won the count. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. There's one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So here's Cody now Bellinger. Matt, it was a flyout for him Cody in his last trip. Bellinger. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling... Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on now the hit-by-pitch. Second baseman, Albert. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One Albert eight. Perez is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. One and one. Big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Checks his swing oh, here, but he does so in time couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitters count unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two and he chased it in the dirt Jansen has it the throw to first is in time and the inning is over ready to go for the last half of the inning and next will be the imposing power back Alex Bregman things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning and here's a called strike at the knees don't think he liked that one too much but it's 0 and 1 smoked on the ground up the middle and this is going to get on through into center a leadoff hit at the plate now Rowdy Tellers as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one that evens it up one and one has a look now the pitch Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. And a fastball swung on and no missed as they set him ball. down for the second Just time gone. here tonight. Carlo. First pitch of the at bat. Carlos Correa inside, is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1 0. Nope. That misses 2 0. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Fielded cleanly. One there. Out. On to first. Out. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that'll bring up the power Maybe hitting second Rangers. baseman, Brian Dozier. Brian Dozier. First pitch on its way. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Ooh 
That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Now Dozier with a drive out to left field. It's up onto the train tracks and out of here. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. At the plate, Ronald Guzman. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. That's by him for strike one. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Stepping in, Yasiel Puig. The left fielder, Yasiel. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. Here it comes. And a pitch in one the ball, dirt as he right. lays off. It's one and one. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. Ladies Justin Verlander comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Number 35. Justin. To the plate now, Bo Naylor. As Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Oh man, he got hurt. His second pitch since coming in, and he serves one up. A reliever's worst nightmare, and a big confidence boost to the lineup. Let's see if he can rebound. Standing in now, number 60. As Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And it's quickly 0-2. Three runs already home here. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Ready once again, Alec Bone. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One oh. To first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. For the traditional trip. Last half of the seventh here, and striding forward the designated hitter, Josh Naylor. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. The battle, number nine. So now to the plate, Danny Jansen. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And a little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. A two and two Ball, count to the Astros catcher. 
hit hard up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. And they will not be able to get the force at second, so there are two on now to start the inning. Now batting, right fielder. Kyle oh, Cody comes on now in an awfully now, difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Stepping in now, Oscar Mercado. Hey. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0 1. Just behind no the ball. fastball there, two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now batter. Into the box the now. Hernan Perez. Oh. It was a single for him in his last oh, at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Oh, two. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. One and ball. a slider's two in the three. dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's oh. a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Flares this one over toward first. To second for one. Out. On to first. Three. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate Kyle Tucker he reached on a fielder's choice previously and they start him out with a slider good spot but he doesn't get the call one and oh fouled away the one one is strike two swinging with runners on base two outs and two strikes this is a big next pitch for both sides. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Looking to keep the shutout in check. Here it comes. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. You're Jake McGee has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 45. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping in the long ball threat, Dominic Smith. Leading off for Texas, the designated hitter, Dominic. First pitch Smith. on its way. And he oh, runs one. it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d roll but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. And they did damage with it. Cody Bellinger. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Dominic Smith becomes the first out of the inning. He's set. Here it comes. Hit down the line at first. McGee, a former Dodger, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. I got two high. One and two. One and two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Now batter. Now to the plate, baseman. Albert Perez. Albert. Perez. Here comes the first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Ready now, Brian Dozier. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. It'll be Brian interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to no, see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. 
Another look to first, no, and safe. he'll dive back in. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Two out with the man at first. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0 2 once more is ball. taken. That's ball one. The one two. Nope. Outside. Still even at two and two. Has a look. Now the pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And the next to bat is Speedy Adam Eaton. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Now the pitch. Uh, offered it a low one, one there, but came up empty. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming Whoa, in, but a different story once it got near the plate. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Will not catch the zone, ball three. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Third baseman number two. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Rowdy Tellez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. In there, and it's 0-1. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are Outside, in the lineup the and try and get on base to set them up. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And that will retire the side. Ladies Scott and Barlow enters from Barlow. Barlow. the pen to start the ninth inning. Now, as he'll try to keep the score three. right where it is heading to the Number bottom of the ninth. Coming to the plate now, Ronald Guzman. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Oh. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tucker waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. 
And now is Yasiel Puig. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Stepping up to the plate, Bo Naylor. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. Carlos Correa. First pitch on its way to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now the Astros' designated hitter, Josh Naylor. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch coming, here it is. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first to get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Stepping into the box, Danny Jansen. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Wow. A nine-out save? That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. A 5 nothing finish tonight. Texas, with their 101st win of the year, tops in the division. Corey Kluber records win number 16 on the season. Kyle Cody takes the rare three-inning save, his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ballgame tonight for the victorious Rangers, five runs, eight hits, one error.